Welcome back everyone, it is Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group here today with another educational cryptocurrency tutorial. And today we're going to be teaching you guys about the MetaMask wallet. We're going to be showing you how to download and install the MetaMask wallet, how to set it up, and also a little bit about how to use it. The MetaMask wallet is a Chrome browser extension wallet. So you're going to be able to add it into your Chrome browser up here at the top right like you would have any other Chrome extension. You can use MetaMask as the mediator between you and online decentralized applications such as the Metaverse, decentralized exchanges, or other cryptocurrency websites. So to get started, you're going to need to download MetaMask. You can click the link in the description below to download MetaMask and get it set up. So here we are. Make sure that you are on the legit website, guys. There's a lot of crypto scams going around, so you want to make sure that you are at the legitimate URL. Metamask.io is where you want to be. Make sure to just click the link in our description so you go to the correct one. Now you're going to hit download now. And then it's going to give you the option here, install Metamask for Chrome. Like I said, it's going to take you to the Chrome web store and you just go ahead and hit add to Chrome, add extension, and it's going to download real quick. And then boom, Metamask has been added to Chrome. So it's up here. You can click on this little bookmarks page to see it, or if you click this pin button, it will always be up here in your bar. So welcome to MetaMask. So now we're gonna show you how to set up your MetaMask wallet. So just like any other cryptocurrency wallet, MetaMask is going to store your cryptocurrency coins, tokens, and other assets. So you wanna make sure to keep it absolutely secure. You don't wanna share any of your login information with anyone else, and you wanna store it written down in a safe place. If you've never set up a cryptocurrency wallet before, there's something called a seed word phrase or a secret recovery phrase phrase. Now, every wallet pretty much has one. And when you set up a wallet, it's going to give you 12 randomly generated words that you're going to need to write down and store safely. So if you've already had a secret phrase, or you're trying to recover a wallet, this is where you would import it. But today we're going to be setting up a brand new MetaMask wallet. If you've never had one before, or you don't have your old seed words, hit create a wallet. So again, it's just giving you some security measures about never sharing your information with other people. I agree. Okay, then you're gonna to need to make a general password for the wallet. This is gonna be the password you're gonna to have to use every time you re-log onto your computer or get back onto a new computer or get onto Chrome. This will be used to log into your wallet. Now here they do have a video on how to secure your wallet properly with your seed words, but I'm gonna be taking you guys through that. So here it goes. You're gonna to have to click here. There's 12 words hiding behind this box here. So you're gonna click here to reveal the secret words. So once you click, it's gonna show you these 12 randomly generated words. Now, a lot of people's first instinct is to take a picture or to screenshot this. You do not wanna do that because the point of these seed words is if you have these 12 words, you can get into your wallet. So if someone hacked into your phone or was going through your phone's photos or whatever the case might be, and they came across these 12 words, all they would need to do is go home to their computer, type these 12 words in, and they would have all of your coins. So these are very, very private words. You wanna write them down safely. On a piece of paper and store it somewhere safe okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and write these down real quick in order with proper spelling and then once you've got your words written down you're gonna go ahead and hit next and now it's gonna confirm and verify that you wrote them down properly so you're going to have to put them back in order so i'm gonna do that real quick okay and hit confirm congratulations so again a few more safety tips on where to store your words hit done now this is what the main interface of your MetaMask wallet is gonna look like. If you're somewhere else on another website and you open it up here, it's gonna be a smaller version. Boom, there you go. That's what your MetaMask wallet is gonna look like. Now MetaMask is an ERC20 wallet. It's an Ethereum based wallet. So you can store Ethereum as well as other ERC20 tokens on there such as Mana or Shibu Inu. And I'll show you guys how to add custom tokens here in a minute. But again, this is your basic wallet setup. Now, if you wanted to fund your wallet and get some coins in it, you would obviously have to hit this receive or buy button here and there's a couple of ways to get crypto into your metamask wallet you could do wire or transact which is going to be where you link up your actual bank account and do a wire transfer to fund it now a lot of banks still to this day aren't really crypto friendly so this won't work with most banks here in America, unfortunately. So the best way to really fund your MetaMask wallet is gonna be directly depositing Ethereum or other tokens into it. So the way you do that, this wallet works just like any other wallet. When I hit receive, it's gonna give me my public address right here. This string of numbers I can copy, and this is called my public address. The only thing people can do with this string of letters and numbers is send tokens or send coins or tokens to it now this qr code above also directly corresponds with this code so you could either copy and paste this code in or scan this 
to send cryptocurrency to this wallet. So if you wanted to get some coins in here, I assume a lot of people might have a Coinbase account already. If you've been in crypto for some point in time, you've probably heard or made a Coinbase account at some point. And Coinbase is a really uh, easy spot to enter into the cryptocurrency market because you can link your debit card or your bank account with Coinbase. It's regulated in the United States, so basically everyone here can use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Coinbase account. And if you guys haven't already set up a Coinbase account, we do have a video here you can watch on how to set up a Coinbase account. Also, when you're setting up your Coinbase account, if you click the second link in the description below and use our affiliate link, the first time you purchase $100 worth of Bitcoin or sell it, we get $10 as a referral bonus and so do you. So if you'd like, please use our code. It helps us out so we can keep making these educational videos for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Coinbase account here. So here we are on my Coinbase account. Again, if you don't know how to use Coinbase, make sure to go watch our Coinbase video first. But I've got $30 worth of Ethereum here in my Coinbase account that I'm going to be sending to my MetaMask wallet. So again, the MetaMask wallet is the recipient. So I'm going to be receiving the crypto on that end. Again, directly deposit Ethereum, view account. And now again, this is my public address. I'm going to copy that public address. And you don't ever want to try to type this in letter for number because there's a good chance you're going to get one of the letters wrong. And if you send the cryptocurrency to the wrong public address, there is no way to get it back. So I'm going to directly copy this public address to my clipboard. And then I'm going to go into my Coinbase account and I want to send Ethereum. And now it's asking where I want to send it to. Now this is where I'm going to put in the public address of my MetaMask wallet. So again, there is the public address that I just copied. I had just copied from my, uh, from my MetaMask wallet right here. So now you can write a note if you'd like, choose what coin you're sending. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit send all. So I'm gonna send $31.45, hit continue. Ouch. Now, one thing you're going to want to watch out for when you're dealing with coins is gas and network fees. Ethereum uh, currently at, you know, currently at this time has been known for having some really high gas fees. And I'm trying to send $30. I'm basically paying over a $10 gas fee, which is kind of ridiculous for $30. So that's why a lot of these other blockchains like Tron have come out um, where they're much quicker and, and have much lower fees to send. So that's kind of a crazy fee. So you might want to watch out for that sort of thing. It's not very smart to be sending Ethereum back and forth because of the fees on it um, but there's a lot of other coins that you can easily swap into and get much better fees for but anyways uh, for the purpose of the video I'm gonna eat that fee hit send now it's gonna ask me for my two-factor real quick boom now so now it says it's sending and this transaction usually takes less than 10 minutes if you're sending directly wallet to wallet it's usually much quicker technically coinbase is an exchange so it's got a uh, withdrawal process that it's got to go through legally but um, anyways once i receive the coins i will see it here in my uh, metamask wallet so i will be right back once i receive those coins and so there it is boom i've got my about 20 dollars worth of ethereum in my wallet you can go to your activity page and see all the transactional history i can see where it came from what time how much and yeah, that's where you see your Ethereum. Now, like I was saying earlier, this is an ERC20 wallet, so you can also store other Ethereum-based tokens on here. Now, obviously you only see Ethereum right here. Don't see your token, you can import tokens here. So another example, uh, you can search some of them up here. A lot of the mainstream ones are gonna pop up like Mana from Decentraland. Mana is a great token. It's on the Ethereum blockchain, so I can hit next, import tokens. And then boom, now I have mana here. The same sort of process here, if I wanted to receive mana, I would use this same Ethereum address because it's on the same wallet, it's on the same chain. So it's gonna be the same uh, public receive address to get mana. Now another one is, uh, another popular one kind of right now is Shiba Inu. And I don't think if we look that one up, I don't think it actually pops up. No, it doesn't. So this is a perfect example. If you don't see an ERC20 token that you're trying to add into your MetaMask wallet here on the, uh, on the default list, you can add a custom token. Now, the way you're gonna do this is go over here to this tab custom token, and it's asking for the token contract address. Now, you do have to be careful, like it says here, anyone can create a token, so you gotta be careful of scams. So a great way to get the actual legit token address is for going to coinmarketcap.com, very reputable website for all things cryptocurrency. And so if I wanted to go, where's Shiba? There it is, Shiba right here. As you can see, it's an Ethereum contract. What I wanna do is, I can click this button to add it to MetaMask, but I wanna copy the token address. This is the contract address itself for the actual whole token itself. So I'm gonna go back into my MetaMask wallet and paste, go back to import tokens and paste that token contract address. 
and then boom it automatically recognizes that it is sheep and it already puts in your decimal for you so you hit add custom token import tokens and then boom now i've got ethereum mana sheep and again same process if you want to add any other erc20 tokens okay now one thing worth mentioning that is super cool about metamask is although it is an ethereum native wallet you can actually add other networks here at the top right here so i'm going to show you a quick example of how you can do that i'm going to be adding the polygon or the matic network here on the wallet so we can access that chain as well so up here where it says ethereum mainnet you're going to go ahead and hit add network now you're gonna to have to do a little research to figure out your network name as well as the URL and the chain ID, but you are gonna to wanna to make sure to actually do that research and you're not adding some bogus network to your wallet and that you're getting your information from a reputable site. So in order to add Polygon's network or Matic, um, you're gonna to wanna to enter these things and I will put these down in the uh, description below, but we're gonna be doing the Matic network. The URL is gonna be here. The chain ID is 137. The currency symbol is Matic. And the block explorer URL is polygonscan.com. Boom. So hit save. And then it's going to connect to the network. And then as you can see, boom, we are now connected in here on the Polygon network as well. So you can add a bunch of other ones. You could add the Binance Smart Chain and a few others like that. Um, you can see some of them are locked up here. Um, but yeah, we just added the Matic network. So now if we're back on our main wallet, you can see that I've got Matic as well as the Ethereum main net here. So one of the cool things about MetaMask is that it does allow you to do that. So now that you got your wallet set up, you can use this to store cryptocurrency or you can use it, like I was saying earlier, as the mediator between you and a decentralized application. So it does actually have its own built-in swap feature here. So I could take some of my Ethereum if I wanted to take a few Ethereum and swap it for Sheep or Mana or whatever. Um, you can do that here directly inside of uh, MetaMask. Uh, just be careful because, yeah, Ethereum fees are really high right now. So I'm going to stay away from that at this point. But now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually use this MetaMask wallet to um, sign smart contracts for you to be the mediator between you and a decentralized application. So um, one common one that a lot of you might have heard of is Decentraland. Decentraland is one of the first metaverses that came out. It's an online growing cryptocurrency world where you can buy land, build land, uh, play with other people. But again, MetaMask is going to work as not only your mediator between you and the decentralized application, but it also works as the reason they call it a mask. It's your um, mask of security while you're playing in these online metaverses or playing on these games. So it, it masks your real identity and keeps you safe while you're using these applications. So here we're on Decentraland. I'm going to hit get started. And then right away, it's going to give you the option play using your wallet. So I'm going to hit continue with wallet connect your wallet it's asking which one i want to use obviously i want to use metamask so i'm going to go ahead and click on metamask oh and then it says metamask is locked please open the extension before continuing so when you open a new tab it's going to have you re uh you know make sure you're using the right wallet so this was the account i just created hit next and now what this is doing is you're giving it permission to connect to this website and boom so now we're connected i'm going to hit retry here and now it should let me log in with my wallet. And now here I'm going to be signing a smart contract, a signature request saying that I am giving um, Decentraland permission to uh, work in connection with my MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to hit sign and boom, just like that, it's going to be loading me into Decentraland. Basically, my entire player profile is created and connected to that MetaMask wallet that I had just created. So. Um, really awesome. Now I'm going to show you guys one more thing you can do with the MetaMask wallet. Like I was saying, if you're using a decentralized exchange, a great example would be Uniswap. If we go to uniswap.org, this is a decentralized crypto exchange. I'm going to hit launch app and I'll show you guys how you can make a swap. Um, so here I don't have my wallet connected yet. I'm going to hit connect wallet metamask and guys there are a lot of other uh browser extension wallets that we'll make future videos on uh, metamask so far seems to be our favorite and most secure so i'm gonna hit that and again click the account i want give it another signature allowing my metamask to connect to uniswap and boom now i'm connected you can see my ethereum balance that i have in there so you could go ahead and do you know 0 0.05 ethereum whatever swap it for die and then obviously i don't have enough ethereum for that movement but uh, once you hit swap it would directly deposit this new token into your metamask wallet and you can have it there so 
pretty straightforward to the point guys today the biggest thing when you're setting up any cryptocurrency wallet is just making sure you keep the login information written down somewhere secure uh, where no one else is going to see it make sure to not access your cryptocurrency wallets on public computers or anywhere where someone might be able to see your information or private keys because it really is that simple the thing with decentralized finance is the responsibility lies in your hands only you can't go to the bank and show them your debit card and say hey i got hacked if you ever share your phrase with someone or give someone access to your account and they steal from you that cryptocurrency is gone so make sure that you are super safe make sure that you're only clicking on legitimate links and make sure to do your own research before downloading any crypto app or investing into any cryptocurrency but thanks again guys hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any questions about how to use metamask wallet or anything crypto related leave them in the comments below like the video if you enjoyed subscribe so you can catch our future content and we'll catch you next time